Juno is getting a new planet in the next update. Oh my god, dude, why do they have to release these betas so late in the day for me? Anyway, in this beta, we have two major things to talk about, in my opinion. There are some other minor things, but I'm going to leave them out for this video because I want to go to sleep and I also want to get this video out. So I'm just going to talk about the two major things. The first thing and the most major thing is the new planet called Ord. What was it? Ord? Ord? I don't know how you say it. Anyway, this new planet is absolutely incredible and that is for multiple reasons. The first being this is the most modern planet in the game by a long shot and so it looks absolutely amazing. It's also one of the most unique planets in the game now because all the other planets are similar to planets in our solar system, but this planet does not exist in our solar system in any manner. It is entirely unique and really awesome. It has an ocean going around the equator of the planet. It also has a ring. It is in the orbit of Sergia. I probably should have mentioned that first to be honest. And it is orbiting Sergia in such a way that the sun, Juno, is actually obscured sort of not really because Juno is so massive but it is kind of obscured by Sergia and this is always the case Sergia will always be in the sun from Ord's view which is a really cool detail this planet is full of enormous craters and when I say enormous I mean enormous these craters are massive and whilst you might think for a moon this would be small it's actually really big it also has a high and thick atmosphere and some absolutely stunning terrain I feel like this planet alone has kind of breathed life back into the Juno system. It felt a bit boring before, where it was just kind of a rough copy of our own solar system with some extra planets and moons. But this planet is interesting. This is like Volco, but in the modern day, I guess. It's really cool. This is something I've wanted to have in the game for a long time, and I've just realized that my art for the game on the loading screens is actually outdated now, unfortunately. Anyway, I'm going to absolutely make a full video on this moon. I don't know when, but hopefully pretty soon because it is an awesome moon. And another one to add to the list of moons I need to add a video on, but that's fine because this is a really worthwhile addition in my opinion. Anyway, let's now talk about the other feature, other major feature in my opinion, and that is the new skybox. There is a new default skybox in the game, and this is much better than the old skybox because you can zoom in and it still will not show square stars. In fact, there are no square stars. All the stars and the galaxies, yes, you can see galaxies and they're red shifted. It's cool. If you zoom in, you can see the red shifted galaxies far away. It is really cool. There are no square stars. All these stars are round. And the red shifting is a really cool thing, especially with the faraway galaxies, like the detail on the skybox is amazing. And that's because it's an entirely custom skybox that they made in Blender. And they also made this skybox basically open source, I guess, so you can edit this skybox and make your own custom skybox in Blender. And the original skybox for Juno, I think, was made in Spacecape, which is a program that I've used to make skyboxes in the past. But the Blender program should be much more advanced than Spacecape because Spacecape is pretty old now. So if you want a Skybox editor, go for this Blender project. You can download it in the description of the beta and I'll link the Juno website and yeah, you can download it there. It's really cool. You can also change the quality of this Skybox, which is a really cool thing. So the I assume the mobile Skybox will be lower quality, but on PC, you can actually change the quality of the Skybox to be higher or lower detail which is really nice and as much as i hate to say it this skybox has just made me realize how much i hated the original skybox in the game like i know it was a skybox from like basically an era ago it feels like but this skybox is such a massive upgrade it's just amazing it just feels like the Juno system is kind of being given life again in some way. It's really weird. Anyway, hopefully I will make a more comprehensive video when I get some time on what is actually in this beta. It's mostly bug fixes and tweaks other than this planet and skybox. But there's some cool stuff. Some busy stuff as always. But yeah, look out for that. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.